Welcome back to Elements of Art in our unit online. I'm Natasha and I have another art question for you. Have you ever colored in a coloring book? A coloring book is filled with simple, flat, outlined images with basic interior details, perfectly drawn for adding color. Did you know that these drawings are called contour drawings? Yep, that's right. The images you see in a coloring book have a real art term, contour. In this lesson, we are going to learn about three types of contour drawing styles. Contour, blind contour, and cross contour. How to do each type and when to use them. And then allow you to try out each type on your own. The ways to create contour drawings include basic contour line drawings, blind contour drawings, and cross contour drawings. All of these techniques are useful in their own ways and when it comes to working toward becoming a better artist. When utilizing all three contour drawing types, they should be done slowly and with control. So let's begin with the most simplistic of the three, plain old contour. A basic contour line drawing is used to show the edges or boundaries of a subject and define the outline of a shape. They are perhaps the most obvious use of line when it comes to drawing. In most cases, when we begin a drawing, we start by drawing the outlines of the subject. Contour drawing is also typically the first method a child uses when learning how to draw. Contour lines exist on the outside of an object as an outline, but they can also be found on the inside of a shape or figure to define major details. Contour drawings are often also called line art. Do you see the contour line around my figure? This is a great example of a basic contour line. I start out by defining the major lines and outlines that I see. This includes the outside of the apple, the stem, the cut, and the separated slice. Here I'm going to begin adding some weight to some of my lines. Some artists create contour lines by using the same width line, while others change the width to give more energy and volume suggestions. Adding variations of line quality to a contour line drawing is a more advanced technique that can give additional visual information to a drawing and can even provide an illusion of light and shadow. Lastly, the major details of the apple, like the divisions of color and texture on the apple skin, are drawn in with basic lines. Even though contour drawings look simple, the benefits of them aren't. Practicing basic contour drawings is a great way to refine your drawing ability. Remember that contour drawing is how most of us learn art in the first place. From the moment that we pick up a crayon, we're trying to understand how to use basic outlines to create our world on paper. It's a complex process, as what we see around us is typically perceived in three dimensions. It is great exercise for your brain and eyes because the use of contour line art requires your mind to translate what you see into a simplified two-dimensional version. Now it is your turn. Pause the video and try to do a nice and simple contour drawing of this image of apples in your lesson notes. Remember to focus on the outlines and the major interior details. Imagine you're drawing an image of these apples for a coloring book. <laughs> 
cross-contour line drawings are more complex than contour lines. Cross-contour lines visually flow over the three-dimensional form of the subject. Sometimes the lines flow in a single direction. Other times the lines can intersect. The overall effect becomes like a topographic map of an object showing the planes of its surface. To allow for a better visual understanding of this topographical map effect I was talking about, look at this demonstration. You can use a pen or a pencil to run over the surface of an object from top to bottom. Or from side to side. To help you better understand how to create a cross contour drawing. As you can see, the lines will form a visually distorted grid that alludes to the surface formation of the object. I begin cross contour similarly to contour by finding the outlines of the object. I find the shape of the apple, stem, and slice. I begin adding curved lines down the stem. The repeating curved lines show that the stem is rounded, like a long, thin cylinder. Next, I add circular lines radiating out from the center point of the stem. It allows them to show the unevenness of the apple surface as I work down the apple. Then, lines extending down from the top are added, again starting out from the center point of the stem. As they are added, a grid is revealed. As I finish out the cross contour drawing, I check to see that my grid shows all of the surface directions I see on the apple. Cross contour drawings teach you that objects are more than just an outline. Cross contour drawing is a great test in observing in a very different way, as you are not only attempting to interpret the outline in major details, but are trying to see the variations of an object's surface and display them in two dimensions. All right, time for you to give cross contour a try. Pause the video and create a cross contour sketch of this same apple image in your lesson notes. Remember to focus on the surface direction of the object and add lines to help define that surface. Blind contour drawings are a type of exercise where an artist draws the outline and basic details of an object without looking at their paper or lifting their pencil. This technique was introduced in a book written for drawing skill building and has become a staple process for beginning artists ever since. Blind contour is not a process to use for sketching or creating finished drawings. Its primary function is as a method of training for artists. To correctly practice blind contour drawing, you only look at the object you are drawing and you fully avoid looking at or even peeking at your paper. This means you do not look down at your paper even if you need to pick up your pencil to reposition it. This is an incredibly hard feat to accomplish as it's natural tendency to use your sight to help you regain your place. To complete a blind contour drawing, I turn my face to look only at the apple and not at my paper. I start by deciding what path along the apple my eye will follow and I begin to draw without looking. Because blind contour is a technique used to strengthen the relationship and coordination between your eyes and hand, I am forced to really look at the apple as I draw. While I know what an apple looks like, I don't know exactly how this apple looks unless I really look for its details to get an accurate depiction. If I lose my place, I just try to keep drawing. I do not peek at my paper. Music 
As soon as I feel like I have finished my drawing, I get to look and see how well I did and how accurately my hand traced the path my eyes followed. As mentioned before, blind contour is supremely beneficial in honing your hand-eye coordination. Blind contour drawings force you to let go of any preconceived notions you may have about how objects should be drawn. You may already think you know what something looks like, but this technique makes you look and draw only, not think. This fundamentally changes how you see and better allows you to collect actual observations when drawing from life. Time for you to do another sketch. Give blind contour drawing your best shot. Pause the video, look only at this Apple image and draw on your lesson notes slowly. Try to focus on the edges of the apples and trace them with your eyes, allowing your hand to move along with the tracking of your view. Okay, let's do a visual review. We'll look at some examples of drawings and see if you can correctly identify and mark the type of contour drawing for each example on your lesson notes. Write the correct answer for each example on your lesson notes. Example one. Example two. Example three. Example four. Example five. And example six. Let's see how you did. Compare your answers to the labeled images. Example one is cross contour. Example two is blind contour. Example three is contour. Example four is cross contour. Example five is contour. And example six is blind contour. Alrighty, let's talk about some general tips to help you with these different types of contour drawings. Choose simple objects. Trying to tackle too many details in a contour drawing can be really frustrating and defeats the purpose of a basic contour drawing. Choose simple objects that have clear, clean outlines. Take your time and really see. Let go of all your expectations and notions about how something looks and use your eyes. Observe the object you are drawing closely. Allow your eyes to connect with your pencil. It's just like keeping your eye on the ball. Don't get frustrated or give up. These types of line drawings are made to build skill. They are not designed to create completed, perfect artworks. Let's review over those general tips for contour drawing types. Remember to choose simple objects, take your time, observe closely, and don't give up. Great job today. Try and remember those tips for contour, cross contour, and blind contour drawings as you complete your PDF. And remember, art is all around you. Hey.